The Honourable Mika Fahir. Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker, o te rauanga member te whare tēnā tātou katoa. Uh, Mr Speaker, I too uh, want to acknowledge uh, the 27 plus years of the Right Honourable Bill English and just want to uh, mihi to him for his service of his 27 plus years of service and also to uh, send my best wishes to him, uh, to Mary and the family uh, in his next journey of life. Mr Speaker, we've just come from almost 10, 12 days old of a brilliant Waitangi weekend. And I want to talk about the positivity, uh, Mr Speaker, uh, that the hon Right Honourable Jacinda Ardern, with her Cabinet Ministers and colleagues of the Government, uh, that displayed up in Waitangi. Five long days, Mr Speaker. The longest any Prime Minister in modern government has ever contributed to the founding day of our great nation. And there she was, Mr Speaker, moving amongst people with ease sending out the positive vision that she, with this government, has for this nation. And I was proud, along with many of the members of the government, sir, to be alongside her. And she moved seamlessly amongst groups large and small. Iwi Chairs, Rangatahi Māori, the Māori Wardens, the Māori Women's Welfare League, not to mention the many others, Mr Chair, that she engaged with. So I want to meet to our Northland members who ensured that we had a successful uh, five days celebrating in Waitangi. Um, Mr Speaker, but as the Minister in charge of animal welfare, I take animal welfare issues very seriously, Mr Speaker, and I have to say that this opposition will need a good vet at the leadership gallops, or should I say trots, to make sure none of the horses that will have been tampered with who are lining up to take over from the Right Honourable Bill English. It is with great, sir, that we note that Billy Boy, the old favourite from the South, has finally been retired to a paddock outside Winton. Good luck and a long life munching on those Southland Swedes and watching this race. First question, though, Mr Speaker, is what kind of track is this? Hard and fast? Soft and slow? Bit of bounce? They might leave some, someone keen and unexpected charge through the field. Like the old show pony, Craven Coleman, bloodline out of naked opportunity and desperation. <laughs> May still come out of nowhere to surprise, but then he will break a leg and then have to be put down like the last time he ran. <laughs> then we have Crusher Collins, Mr Speaker, in the blue silks. May also be guilty of interference when that two-year-old Bill Cream Bridges tries to pass her on the inside. Look for the illegal use of the whip. And the use of the whip, or whips, may have to be carefully examined, Mr Speaker, by the stewards of this race. Whatever, I hope the stewards have got their eyes peeled for horse tranquilizers by the gallon. Not for the horses, Mr Speaker, but for us, the poor spectators. One thing for sure is there will be endless jockeying before they even hit the last bend. Mr Speaker, in the last few minutes, I do want to return back to the serious notion of governing the nation for all New Zealanders and, la and lay out uh, Labour with the Greens and New Zealand First plan in terms of the first 100 days and beyond. And I want to particularly acknowledge the, uh, the uh, restarting of our super fund, sir, which contributes to, to ensuring that super stays at 65, which is a big issue for uh, the constituents of Ikaroarapiti, the family packages that my colleague, uh, the Honourable Chris Hipkins, acknowledged, uh, the ban of overseas speculators, sir, which is definitely going to help uh, in terms of the houses' availability in my election, and, of course, the stopping of the mass sale of state houses, sir. These policies put in place by this Labour-led government with our coalition partners, uh, Mr Speaker, is a commitment that this government is here to do the business, is here to do the business that that nine years of national opposition has failed to achieve. Can I also point out that it is very clear that when we come to charter schools, Mr Speaker, that we have made it clear we are not shutting down charter schools. I'll say it again. We are not shutting down charter, charter schools. We are actually saying there won't be any more open. And like Minister Hipkins has said, as we speak, Ministry of Education officials are speaking with every single charter school up and down this country on a case-by-case -case basis, 
in, a, in, a, in, a, in an open and transparent way around the future educational needs for their young people. That's a government committed to doing the right thing by all New Zealanders. Kia ora tato, katoa. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.